Carlsbad police are investigating a crash that killed a bicyclist during a police chase today. It happened yesterday, rather, on Carlsbad Boulevard near Palomar Airport Road. Investigators say a state parks officer was chasing a speeding motorcyclist when the motorcyclist hit and killed a man riding a bicycle. The 28-year-old motorcycle driver and his passenger were hospitalized with serious injuries. That isn't the only fatal bike crash Carlsbad has seen in the past week and a half. Tonight, the loved ones of Christine Embry spoke out during the Carlsbad City Council meeting. She was killed in an e-bike crash while riding in her neighborhood on August 7th. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez attended tonight's meeting and shows us the changes her family hopes to see. The crash happened here at the intersection of Basswood Avenue and Valley Street. It's also where you'll find this memorial filled with flowers, notes and candles. Christine Hawk Embry was 35 years old. She was riding with her 16 month old daughter when she was hit by a car. Her husband, Bob, a firefighter, received the call every first responder fears. A position that none of us are prepared to deal with. His wife and daughter had been hit while riding a bicycle. By the grace of God, his daughter was saved because the bicycle seat came off of the bike. Christine wasn't so lucky and died in the hospital. Two trauma surgeons with a combined 70 years experience said it was the worst trauma they had ever seen. Her husband spoke at tonight's city council meeting. It wasn't the first time he stood at the podium. Uh, I came here a month ago to discuss two topics, public safety and the speeds at which people travel through neighborhoods. I uh, talked to you about the trauma that I carry as a 10 year firefighter paramedic. Now his family is dealing with the exact type of tragedy he's been trying to prevent. Never in a million years, I think three weeks later, my wife would be hit by a 42 year old female who lived in the neighborhood, traveling approximately 40 miles an hour and blew a stop sign. Their family hopes to see more traffic slowing measures, like speed bumps and roundabouts, to make the roads a safer place. We were supposed to live 40 more years together. We were supposed to grow old and gray. My daughter, who was running around, doesn't have a mom. No one should have to suffer. Please don't let my wife's loss of life go in vain. The city is gathering speed and traffic data for the areas where these two fatal bike crashes happened. Both crashes are still under investigation. Reporting in Carlsbad, Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8.